Cool. So put your good mitts on there. Good. So together now, ready? You and you stay in your posture. So there's your incline, right? So we're going to take this back here, and we're going to just notice something. I don't want you necessarily trying to get this thing flat right away, right? In your backswing, so that's a good looking position where you've got the lifeline of your right hand on your left thumb. So that's what we notice is one of the issues is you can like to over roll this and, and this right hand comes away and your swing gets a little long. You with me? Mm -hmm. Good. So now let's go ahead and stack up the golf club on top of your hands. That's problematic. And that's what happens when your elbows separate too much in your backswing. Okay, and right now you're looking in a great spot, but see how th this attachment and this attachment have a little angle to them? Mm -hmm. Well, here's what high level players do. This attachment always falls behind the one on your thumb as you open and overtake a shot, okay? What that means, Scott, is that the golf club shallows as our body starts to pivot. So show me some pivots, show me some hips opening. You with me? So what I want you to recognize is you've got a, a relationship here that is basically the combination of your shoulders and arms converging at a point, and that is aiming at me via this string. You with me? Mm -hmm. Good. This one's behind that string, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And no time do I want this connection to get on this side of that one until way late when this club head kicks out and it kicks out, guess what? If this connection's behind this one, that's behind, that's in front, and you add some pivot, there's your inside out swing strike. You with me? Mm -hmm. This sucker is going to come from here. If you just held that there for a second and, and hold it such that you're not choking the daylights out of it, if I just kind of rotated you, that club would go inside out every single time. Mm -hmm. And it would have shaft lean, have a strong dynamic loft. Your speed, it's going to hit the ball its maximum distance. Now, post impact, you know, once we get this thing going, it's going to overtake and it's going to pull you the rest of the journey. You with me? Mm -hmm. All right, so kind of use those feels. I'll leave you alone for 15 minutes mm -hmm. or Micro Gym will come down, right? And see if you can't see that. But paramount is don't lose that relationship, okay? That's what we worked on yesterday. Okay. Keep that, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you can let everything overtake and take you to a restful finish. Okay. And then reflect back, okay? Good.